Okay, hi everyone, and welcome back again. And before anything else, I would like to thank you for watching my video and presentation. Okay, but before we begin, don't for, don't forget to click subscribe below and like, and share it to everyone. Okay, guys. Okay, now this video is uh, the continuation. Uh, this is the continuation of my previous video I uh, I uh, created. So this is my preview, uh, my previous uh, video on how to install by time 7.0 software and basic program. Okay, after this done, after the installation in the basic program, eh, and now uh, many people asking me on how they can access or how they can remote access the machine in different places. Now, I will show you how to make port forwarding on your machine. So the, the reason for this one, the port forwarding, is in order you to access your machine in different places, okay? Example, you have five machine in different area. Area 1, area 2, area 3, area 4, and area 5. So in order to access this five machine or five device in different places, you need to make port forwarding. Okay, the, que the question is how to make port forwarding. Okay, so all you have to do is this one. You need to check what is the IP address of your computer. So the IP address of my computer is... Uh, one. Okay. So this is the IP address of my computer. 100, 192.168.100.7 or using the command prompt. Just type here, cmd, just wait a minute, cmd, then type here ip, config, and plus, all. Now, this is the IP address of my computer, 100.7, okay. Now, all you have to do is uh, you, uh, we need to check also what is the port. Port means the server port. What is the server port? My computer. By time three point six server console. So this one. And then open the server port configuration. So this is the port of my uh, server, the main server. Okay. Uh, 80.9 uh, 8091 after that one so you already set the IP, the IP address and the port of your server all you have to do is you need to open the interface of your router so the default IP address of my router is 192.168.100.1 so the so this is the default username and password only, okay? And after you uh, after you enter inside the interface of your router, so just go to pro, uh, forward rules, port mapping. Okay, this one. So I will delete this one. Okay. Then then new. Then select or choose application application select this one domain name server then from here uh, mapping name any name you can create it any name okay by time gtp echo okay now the internals the internal host the internal host this is the ip address of your computer or of your server uh, of your server 100.7 so this is the address of my computer then the protocol the protocol should be tcp udp okay so what is the external port so the external port is this one so this is your external port the 8091 okay 8091 so right here 8091 
then apply okay so in the forward in the for, uh, forward rules the first step is done now all you have to do is the, the next steps you need to do is you need to create an account in the domain name see uh, uh, for uh, first one i'm using only the free domain name the no ip.com this is the free domain name or if you want to get up the the paid one so you need to create the two and dns that uh, that one is i think yeah yeah 75 dollar per, per year but this one since i'm using the no ip.com so th so this is the free uh, service for the domain name so i will try to to log in i will log in my account okay then If you don't have an, uh, an account, uh, if you don't have account for the IP, so you need to create the account. Okay, so I, I don't have any host name here, the domain name. So I will create the domain name. GP Systems. That GP System. Okay, so GP Systems only. That the DNS that need, then add host. Okay, now I have a host name with a present dynamic address. Okay, so this one. Okay, so this one. Okay, so since I already created the domain name, all you all you have to do is uh, all you have to do is uh, just to remember only what is the what is the domain name that you created. Okay, now. As what I said earlier ago, if you have five device, okay, then the first device, this that the, the first device is is uh, together with your server port. Uh, uh, I mean with your uh, with your server in the main office. Example, the device number one is your is the main office. Now we are now in the example only. Now we are now in the main office. Then I have four device in the, the in different places. After you make port forwarding. Now all you have to do is just to remember what is the domain name that you created or this one what is the IP address okay just to just uh, just to uh, just to make a double check if uh, anything if the port providing is success can you hmm. just to make sure only if the port the port providing is success okay then I will go to can you see me then I will write here 891 if success so the port forwarding is success okay now guys I I have here I have here a, a machine okay guys this is the only for example example only okay example this machine is in another place or in, in another location Jeda Riyadh Kubar any okay now you are here in Riyadh Example, this machine is in Kubar or Jeddah or in any places. All you have to do in to this machine is this one. All you have to do is go to menu, then com, go to the com, then the internet. After the com, there's an option, internet, serial, PC communication, cloud server settings, or EDMS. Cloud or EDMS is the same. So the first steps is I need I will select to the internet. Then I will select DHCP on. Just to just to make the DHCP on only. After uh, after that, then you need to go back. Then go to cloud server settings. Okay, cloud server settings just enter. Then enable domain name. All you have to do is okay from the cloud server uh, cloud server settings wait from the cloud server settings okay so so from the cloud server settings so it showing your server name edms then enable the domain name so enable the domain name there's an option only on or off but i but you need to make on enable domain name should be on okay 
Then the, then the next step is the server address. The, from here in the server address, you need to input the domain name that you created. So what is the domain name again? This one. So this is the domain name I created in the port. The port is 1891. This one. So this is this one. So this is the port. Ah, uh, so sorry. This is the domain name. So this uh, the domain name is citysystem.net. Ah, sorry. Ah, uh, citysystems.dtns.net. Then colon. Then together with the port. As you can see here. Hmm. This one, okay. You got it. This one. Uh, server address cd systems dot colon 1891 then after that one then after you uh, uh, input the inform the the cloud server the or the domain name you will notice from here from the right upper right upper corner of the screen the server is uh, is uh, is running so so it means it, it's ready to connect okay guys example only if the example only that this device in the another case so if you have five device what you did in the second device is same what you did what uh what you did or same that you uh you need to do in this the another and another uh machine same is very uh, same example one in one domain name more machine okay in by time software only so again guys just go again after you create the domain name all, all you have to do is uh, go to menu com then com then internet from the internet make it uh, just make dcp on then cloud server settings enable domain name on then the server address the server address is the domain name and the port that you created so this is the domain name and this is the uh, port this one okay so this is the port okay great See, so this is the port 1891. Or this one is the same. Okay. So this one. 1891. So it will be like this. See dnas.net 1891. Okay. Hmm. Then if you already set from the the the, the, the details in the machine from another uh, place, it's the same you need to do in another uh, machine okay that's it only guys it's very easy okay so uh, let me check cloud server system okay so So this one is here. This is my device. Now the device is automatic detect. Okay. It's very simple, guys. Okay, it's very clear now. Uh, but you guys, uh, thank you for watching. Huh? Then please share my video in, to your colleague, to your friends, whatever you like. Okay, but don't forget to click subscribe and like and share it to everyone. Bye, bye, guys. See you. Thank you.